If the courage of the Dambusters men is the heart of their story, then their mascot dog is the soul. From flying with Wing Commander Guy Gibson to drinking beer with the men of 617 Squadron, the Black Labrador is synonymous with the Second World War raid. Now, 80 years on from his death, he's at the centre of a British controversy. With Scampton Air Base shut and asylum seekers incoming, the RAF says it can no longer protect the grave and its heritage. They want to dig up and remove any remains to RAF Marham in Norfolk, the current home of 617. Locals are furious. Sarah and Paul live next to RAF Scampton. I mean, you, you don't live here without becoming attached to the, the history of the base, do you? So, you know, knowing that part of that's gone, and a huge part of that has gone, would be quite upsetting. He lived here, he died here, his grave's here. This is where he belongs. For the people living here in Scampton, Guy Gibson's dog isn't just a part of the Dambuster story, it's also a part of their story, and they feel that it's their job to preserve it in the same way that the RAF says that it does. Parts of the historic base have listed status, which covers the dog's grave. Any change to a protected building and its surroundings must go through the local council, in this case, West Lindsay in Lincolnshire. This is Hangar 1, Hangar 2 is the next one along, and at the front of Hangar 2 is where Guy Gibson's dog's buried. Councillors like Roger are battling the Home Office to try and scrap a plan to put asylum seekers at the former base. He says if it happens, they can kiss goodbye to a £300 million heritage deal for Scampton. The dog's grave is part of our heritage, but it's also part of our future, because the, the future here if we get what we want with a £300 million deal, it involves a world-class heritage centre and the dog's grave is part of the story of 617 Squadron. Hundreds of people have given feedback on the planning application. Historic England recommends refusing, as it would harm the significance of the wider site. Gibson's dog died when it was hit by a car just hours before the raid. The wing commander then hid the death from his men, fearing it could be seen as a bad omen. Buried overnight, he's been resting there ever since. The decision on removing him is expected tonight at a planning meeting badged as extraordinary. Will Hollis, GB News in Scampton.